In this PowerPoint, we'll examine pH and pOH as measures of the acidity or basicity of a solution. pH is the most common way of expressing how acidic or basic a solution is. And all aqueous solutions have a pH. So here's a list of some common substances and their pH values. And pH values below 7 represent acidic solutions. The farther below 7 the pH is, the more acidic the solution. pH values above 7 indicate basic solutions. And again, the farther above 7 the pH is, the more basic the solution. And when pH equals 7, the solution is considered neutral or not strongly acidic or basic. So pH values are based on the concentration of hydronium or H3O plus ions in solution. The formula for pH is that it's the negative log, and log meaning to the base 10, of the hydronium ion concentration. So the negative log function allows us a way to represent the relative power of 10 for each concentration. So this is not a linear scale, it is definitely a logarithmic scale, and each number represents a whole power of 10 difference from the number above or below it. Okay, so let's look at an example. We know that in pure water, actually, the hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. So this is uh, six zeros in between the decimal place and uh, a 1, so 0 0.0000001. Okay, so that's the concentration of hydronium ion in pure water. If we take the negative log of that concentration to get the pH, it returns to us that exponent value of 7. It's just the positive of it. So we get a pH of 7. Now, we can do the same thing for a more acidic solution. So let's deal with a solution that has a concentration of hydronium ion of 0 0.1 moles per liter. So this is actually the same as 10 to the negative 1 in terms of a uh, power of 10. The pH of this solution then would be negative log of 10 to the negative 1, which takes that exponent, just the positive version of it, and it's got a pH of 1. So this is a higher concentration of hydronium ion and a lower pH associated with it, so a more acidic solution. And of course, in a basic substance, our hydronium ion concentration is actually really small. So it's 10 to the negative 13 is our example here. So this is a very small concentration. That's 12 zeros in between the decimal and the 1 for this number. If we take the negative log of that, of course, it returns us the positive value of that exponent, which is 13. And this is associated with a very basic solution like bleach. Now, the scale that we see here, and it, which is normally given to us as the normal range of pH from 0 to 14, I really need to emphasize that it, you can actually have pH values that fall outside of this range. So pH can be actually negative. So if you have a solution that has a hydronium ion concentration that's greater than 1, it's going to return to you a negative pH value. You can also have pH values that are larger than 14 if you have a very basic or alkaline solution. pOH is another way of expressing the acidity or basicity of a solution. And if pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, well then pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. It's the same relationship, just a different ion that we're measuring. So if the hydroxide ion concentration were to be expressed as a power of 10, then pOH, again, simply represents the positive value of the exponent on the 10. It turns out that in water, the hydroxide ion concentration is the same as the hydronium ion concentration. It's 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. 
which means that our pOH value for water is actually 7. So in general, uh, pOH values run in the opposite direction of pH values for any given solution. So if you have pOH values less than 7, it indicates a larger concentration of hydroxide and a smaller concentration of hydronium. And these are basic solutions. If you have pOH values greater than 7, it indicates a small concentration of hydroxide, but you'll have a larger concentration of hydronium ion. These are acidic solutions. And if you have equal concentrations of hydroxide and hydronium, like you do in distilled water, pH and pOH will both equal 7, and the solution will be considered neutral. And this actually points to a really important relationship between pH and pOH. The sum of the pH and pOH values for any aqueous solution always equals 14. So if I have a very acidic solution with a pH of 0, I'm going to have a pOH for that solution of 14. If I have a basic solution with a pH of 10, my pOH value will be 4. Whatever the pH and pOH values for any one solution, they must add up to equal 14. And this relationship holds true for any aqueous solution at 25 degrees Celsius. So why does this relationship exist between pH and pOH? It turns out it's based on the auto-ionization of water. So remember that water is considered an amphoteric substance. It can act as both an acid and a base. And during the autoionization process, two different water molecules actually take on these two different roles. One donates a proton to the other. And the net result on the product side is that we form hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. All right, very few water molecules actually undergo this process, only about two out of every one billion. However, the fact that they that at least those two auto-ionize means that both hydronium and hydroxide ions are present in any aqueous solution. So the auto-ionization process is reversible, and this means that we can write an equilibrium expression from it. Now, because both our reactant molecules in this equation are pure liquids, we don't include them in the equilibrium expression. We only include the two aqueous products, the hydronium and hydroxide ions. And because we multiply the products together in the numerator, uh, what we end up with, we call this type of equilibrium expression an ion product. Now, very few water molecules actually undergo this forward reaction, as we mentioned in the previous slide. As a result, our equilibrium constant for this reaction is really small, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Remember that a small value means that there are more reactants at equilibrium than products, so we form a very small amount of hydronium and hydroxide. The ion product expression gives us one way of relating hydroxide and hydronium ion concentration in any aqueous solution. As long as we're at equilibrium at 25 degrees, which is standard room temperature, the product of the hydronium ion concentration in the solution times the concentration of the hydroxide ion in the solution must always equal the constant value of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And for this to happen, the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration must be inversely proportional. As one goes up, the other must go down to maintain a product that equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So it turns out that when we're talking about acidic, basic, and neutral, we're really talking about the relative concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ions. So when the two concentrations are equal to each other, the solution is neutral. 
when hydronium is greater than hydroxide, it's acidic. And when hydroxide is greater than hydronium, it's considered basic. The ion product expression for the autoionization of water can also be used to derive the relationship between pH and pOH. And since both pH and pOH are simply the negative log of their respective ion concentrations, we can actually take the negative log of both sides of this expression to relate these concentrations to pH and pOH. Now, when we take the negative log of a product of two values, like hydronium times hydroxide, the result is the same as the sum of the log of each individual value. So this term becomes the negative log of hydronium plus the negative log of hydroxide. And on the right hand side, we can take the negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 14. You can just plug that into your calculator. But what you'll find is that gives you 14. And of course, we know that negative log of hydronium is pH and negative log of hydroxide is pOH. So this becomes pH plus pOH equals 14. So in summary, pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, while pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And pH and pOH simply represent the power the negative of the power to the base 10 that each concentration is. And we can relate the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion concentration for any aqueous solution through its ion product. We also can relate the pH and pOH for any solution because they must add up to 14 at 25 degrees Celsius.